Okay, video number three, and you haven't even seen video number two, because I'm just gonna quickly show you what to do when you, if you create video content, however you choose to do it, how you upload it to YouTube. So get yourself to your YouTube um, page. Again, uh, hamburger and YouTube, and that'll get you there, and you'll have to set that up. Now, think carefully what you're gonna name your channel. Before you name it, don't just name it your name. Uh, and, and, and think carefully what it's going to be and you can choose to make your videos private or you can make them for the whole world to see um, just be aware that because children are going to in fact let's just do it let's some um, let's just just add and talk about it as we go so we're gonna upload a video uh, so that was just up at the top up there and we're gonna select a file in fact I'm gonna drag one from where I've got it so You'll be doing this from wherever you have, um, wherever you've put your, saved your video file, which you might have made on your phone. So there we go. Uh, that should start. Uh, now, what on earth did I just make that last video about? I made it about adding, adding class, classwork in Google classroom so that's what that was so you see it's uploading now it'll want a description and a thumbnail that will come automatically now I've started creating a playlist I was going to make these so it's Google classroom training I'll update this all these tags and things later because I'm not making a very good job for it it's not actually made for children this one but yours will be um, so yes it's made for kids tick that especially if you uh, are, are making it public um, so that's busy uploading. Uh, I can change video elements and the visibility. This is where you make it public or private. So that's that's in there, going to make it public because uh, other teachers might want this stuff. So up it will go. Eventually it will say publish. You can change the thumbnails, you can change tags and muck about with it. But that is how you would get your content on to YouTube. For your pupils to have a look at it I would recommend you, you set it to private um, when you do that and you only share it to your classes um, but more of that at another date so hopefully that made that's the reason this is taking a while is because it is still uploading it's um, it take takes time uh, to upload so it won't be instantaneous enough for now that's video three now I should have made I'll make the video I should have made in the first place which is how to set up a Google Classroom.